driver fatigue. It is poor performance on skilled control tasks. Slower reaction times. Impaired judgment. Loss of attentiveness. Increased probability of falling asleep. In the UK, driver fatigue is a contributory factor in up to 20% of road accidents and up to 25% of fatal and serious accidents are due to driver fatigue, with 50% more likely to result in death or serious injury. That 20% of accidents on motorways and major trunk roads are fatigue related due to driving long, boring stretches of road. The accidents are worse due to the high speeds involved with little or no braking by the driver. The accident is twice as likely to cause death or serious injury. Those who are susceptible to driver fatigue are mostly males aged 18 to 30. Those that work shifts, skilled trades and business drivers. The three processes that determine fatigue are Sleep loss, not getting the correct amount of sleep. Working when mother nature intends on us sleeping. Sleep inertia, trying to perform too quickly after waking up. So having a lack of sleep will have an effect on you. It will slow down your reaction times. Reduce your alertness. Your vigilance will decrease. Your concentration will drop which results in your ability to perform attention-based tasks is impaired. Microsleeps are brief, unintended episodes of loss of attention associated with events such as blank stare, not focused on anything, head snapping, when you fall asleep for a small amount of time and your head falls forward, and prolonged eye closure, these occur when a person is fatigued but trying to stay awake and trying to perform a monotonous task like driving or watching a computer screen. If you are driving a car and you have a micro sleep, you will travel 100 metres, the length of a football pitch in 4 seconds, assuming you are travelling at 60 miles per hour. It is worrying that when your head starts to nod, you have already been asleep. Accidents due to fatigue are likely to happen on long, boring roads like motorways. The time that they are likely to happen is between 2am and 6am. This is near shift change for most organisations and the time of day when we are naturally at our least alert. And between 2pm and 4pm when we naturally experience a dip in alertness that is sometimes called the afternoon slump. If there is a lack of sleep and then the following day you have a small amount of alcohol, this will make you sleepy. Medication is another cause. Even over-the-counter medicines such as cold and flu remedies may cause unwanted drowsiness. Government advice is simple. Prepare for your journey. If you're feeling tired, stop driving. Remember to park somewhere safe, such as a service station, not the hard shoulder. To reduce your stress levels, call ahead to say that you will be delayed. Have a couple of cups of strong coffee and have a nap for about 15 minutes. By that time, the coffee will kick in and keep you alert. <laughs>